Well, hey, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I was reminded not too long ago that it's been over a year since my last Nerd Shell tour video. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. start with the uh, the uh, the refrigerator which has become the, the flat surface of the, uh, the shelf okay this hasn't changed I don't think since the last one maybe it has but this is all from the firefly loot crate boxes this is all the I believe all the uh, stickers and cards and, and uh, everything else I, well this right here is from something else or maybe not I don't remember but uh, we have small stickers up here a bunch of different things and then down here are the bigger ones but I've also added some smaller ones because there's just a few here and there so well, let me get down here you can see all the stuff going on all right then we'll move into the main room We'll start over on this wall. Okay, here's all my Zelda stuff. I'll just kind of scroll over. You can pause and take a look at it. But, uh, all my Zelda stuff. I think it all fits over here. Plus this one. Plus a few on this wall over here. Okay, and then we'll move over to the. I call this the magnet wall. These are cork boards right here. But uh, oh, movies. Pause here if you want to. Take a look at the last, I don't know, three dozen movies I've seen. I don't know. And then here's pins from the Marvel box. Just Marvel pins and patches in general. And then Star Wars. This is, I think, all Loot Crate. It shouldn't be BAM box stuff here. Some This is the Halo Crate row right here. And DC right here. There's BAM box right there. Well, band box pens. I just I oh, wouldn't uh Firefly stuff here, gaming stuff here, and just ran oh and not uh, back to the future here and just stuff. Alright. So let me move over what's over here? Nothing really much. My computer uh setup. I need to find a better place to put my mugs because they're hidden behind the second computer here. So I got the second computer that was running too slow. So I got a new computer over there. But there's a program on this one that won't work on that one. So I keep this one around. But there's all my mugs back there. They're kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can turn a light on. Hold on. Is that better? I think that's better. You can kind of see all the mugs. Star Wars. Batman, Doctor Strange, I think that's the Tetris one there. Uh, Carnage there. And a couple more, BB-8, and I can't see what that one is down there is. But uh, let me go ahead and turn this back off. All right. Um, I guess we'll go with the main uh, main shelf. Let me, let me back up and show you the whole thing. You can see everything from this, from the cork, from the magnet wall over here. Well, almost. Let me see if I can back up a little more. <laughs> there it is. That's the whole the main deal there. So let's uh, start from left to right. Like I say I'm just going to kind of sweep over everything. So if you want to take a pause and take a look. Now, you see, there's the Loot Crate put out a South Park um, box. And you turn it inside out, and that's what it is right there. And then we got Star Wars things here. 
There's another Star Wars. Yeah, another Star Wars deal here. And this is my two Doctor Who pop shelves. Uh, there was a 13th Doctor pop that I kind of wanted, but then, then it would screw up the wall, though, screw up the shelf because they're, it fits in here perfectly. All eight, there's eight, uh, 16 of them, I believe so, yeah. And let's see, then we have the uh, my Back to the Future. Oh, I need to put that Doc Brown pop over here. I'll talk about that later. Uh, Back to the Future. And there's some books over here. That's Those should be somewhere else in the Doc Brown pop put there. But, and then there's a Minion shelf. Stops there, and then there's some extra stuff over there. And more extra stuff and uh, Terminator things and pops. Okay, then we'll go up here. Uh, there's a Secret Santa minion uh, bee -doo, bee -doo, uh, deal that I got. There's my oversized uh, Marvel pops. Oh, I can't see it. There we go. I was looking at something else. There we go. And then we have this is the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy shelf. All Guardians of the Galaxy things. Oh, get in the shadow. There we go. And I, okay. And this is my uh, two tiered uh, glass case. You can see a sh shelf that these guys in the back are standing on. And uh, there's some Star Wars. And, and there's a. Custom pot that I got from the Grail box. If you remember the Grail box, and then the Ant Man step down, da, 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 da. <laughs> and then I got Groot with a oh pocket pop rocket. So that was from the first movie. So that's uh, appropriate for that. So I think about putting Thanos in a box and putting something else in there, but I'm not sure what because he's not actually a guardian. He's, he's he was in the movie. But he's, he's not a guardian, so. All right, so let's go down here. This is all the Halo stuff I got. I believe all of it. Figures. Uh, can't think of what those are called, these these down here. They're from the Loot Crate's Halo box. And then got a few pops. And then we have, oh, there's the Doctor Who shelf. Okay, these are the pops over here, and there's some things. As well as the pops, and then there's this right here. Okay, that's where it stops. And then let me okay, let me go down here. Okay, I've got the the Firefly. Uh, we have the Qubits, the Mini Masters, and then other goodies as well. And that I believe is the whole set. I had to go back and get a couple of them, but I think that's it. And then here's three. Um, anything firefly pops and i got two more i wanted to put them down here but it's so full i'd have to clear that out back there and i wouldn't know where to put anything it's just that's too crowded all right here's my matrix shelf over here it's just a short one just that back there oh there's the rest of it and then here's some uh, mis miscellaneous stuff there's a, a hellboy fist back there it's kind of covered up. I need to move that. But anyway, and then there's some inside out boxes. Not that over there. That's just some screws that I got right there. And then the picture puzzle in a tin right there and there. Star Wars. I got that from my nephew in law. And then a Pez dispenser um, tin right there. And here are the Pez dispensers. There they are. Right there. That came with it. That came in it. So. All right, and that is it for this side. And then we, I can't remember where I got this. Probably Loot Crate. Coon and Friends from South Park. A little banner there. Now I've changed something up here. This is where all the Harry Potter pops used to be. Except they kind of overflowed onto this shelf. And they were in danger of crowding out my Kiss Pops, which I want to leave there. Because here's where all my Kiss stuff is. So I wanted to... So I moved those. I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, okay, so this is all Spider-Man Pops. And as you can see, I'm almost out of room. I've taken the uh, the Hobgoblin and the Marty McFly Pops out of the glass shelves and put them so I could put them in hard stacks because they're all worth over $100. And then, except that only you can't stack three 
seven bucks of pop pop shields uh pop arm pop armors you can't stack three on top of each other because it bumps into the ceiling so the third one is over here let's see the hobgoblin value went down i think to 160. marty is like 130 and then aged anti-venom is worth 110 i believe so those are my three biggest pops value wise so all right let's uh okay these are all the new ones this is the line right here okay these are the most recent pops i got and i was afraid that i said i had a whole bunch of pops all at once and i was afraid that they wouldn't even be on on there so i just kind of feed them a little bit at a time i take the the last three put them up on the, on the shelf where they wherever they belong slide the whole thing down and put the next three right there so those i just put there uh, just a little bit ago but they still got I don't know, two or three, four months worth before I ever get caught up. Once a week, I, I slide them down. So this is my smaller glass case, and this is something I've also changed. I took, uh, like I say, Marty, and put him on the hard stack, and then Doc Brown, I put him somewhere else. I'll get that in a little bit. But what I have is the uh, the Patronus Pops. I finally got the last one, the Harry Potter Pop. I got This is Ron's. I got Hermione's around here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where it is. But uh, I wanted to put those three in there with them except they're taller so i'm thinking about moving thanos and put them on the put, putting them on the two-tiered shelf of uh, the case still not quite sure but uh haggard's kind of not fitting in there with all with those other three pops but i can't seem to find the box that uh, he came in so i need to i guess keep digging because mm. all right so and then we have uh oh these the little pocket pops Right there and then more pocket pops see i didn't want the full size niffler because it's spatially in the inaccurate there you go that's what i want to say <laughs> so we got the uh, the incredibles and if you've seen the second movie you know what that's about the little the little uh, jack jacks and then there's my first spider-man pop and there's a civil war uh, iron man captain america dueling set my first deadpool pop batman the first pop from the uh legion of collectors box and then wolverine on the bike and that's his i don't know if you can see it yeah logan uh dog tags i forget where i got those probably maybe out of a loot crate box I'm not sure or band box i don't know it could be okay here's a little diorama i made with my pikmin characters here close up of them took some pictures and printed them on photographic paper and that yeah okay and uh did that and like i said you can pause any time to there's my coin collection i'd like to put them in a better display because they're all kind of mixed in with everything and let's see oh well, we have the tron section there's the pops and the bikes and the car and the i forgot what that's called the disc the, the data not data disk, identity identity ID disk. Uh, we have the Star Trek stuff. I don't think I have all the Star Trek things here. There's a Battlestar Galactica. Oh, this is a cool, big, heavy item I got in a was it a Loot Crate uh, limited edition deal yeah, subscriber medallion back there. In my Deadpool section here. Hulk riding a rock. <laughs> I don't know why I got that, but it was cool, so I kept it. And just uh, stuff in general. Okay, here's the gaming shelves. I want to compress these down to two shelves. Probably take some of all this out. Not all of it, but some of these things out. And uh, condense it down to two just to make some more room. Okay, here's some space for some uh, Pokemon Pops that I just got. So I kind of cleared that out. Oh, that's where the, the Labyrinth Pops were that I put way up there on top. And here's the Pokemon Pops that I have out at this point. And some stuff in general. And here's my, oh, here's a uh, um, Metroid section. And then we have the Portal section. All that. There's my controller section and games 
in general. Can I see that? Yeah, that's that's part of it over there. All right. All right, and there's my last pop shield protector on that that uh, priority box right there. That's um in the Easter seven bucks a pop mystery boxes. I won twenty soft side uh, pop shield protectors, so that was cool. Okay, so and, then, and okay, these need to go in the other room. Like I say, I'll, I'll get to that later. I already showed you this over here. Okay, these are my top eight, I guess. Yes, top eight favorite pops. I just decided to do that. And this, from here, the, the, this one's been on the shelf the longest. And then anytime I, I put a new one up, I take an old one down and slide it all to the right. So we got the fluffy pop. Okay, the, he's, okay, here's something interesting. Oh, Jeff Dunham uh, put out a pop. And, okay, it's Pop Comedians. This is a category. And Jeff Dunham is number three. And Gabriel is number one. So who's number two? And I looked on Pop Price Guide. And it's not on there, so I'm not sure. It's probably an upcoming upcoming pop. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But uh, Tarna from Heavy Metal. Angus. And then the Spider-Man uh, Captain Universe. That was that custom Freddy Pop in that in that other case. Uh, that's the real one. This right here is the real one. And then the uh, Spirit Spider, which I really like the skull. It has a really nice glow-in-the-dark look to it. And then little baby Yoda, the child. That's my first, I think the first one I got. I'm not sure. And then this one's uh, the Mark Hamill pop I got from the Templar Pops. Ah, here we go. Capstone box winner mystery box. So very cool. And here's where I put the Dr. Doc Brown pop. I put it on my favorite shelf because uh, that's my first pop ever. So that was, uh, I think it deserved a place of honor. All right, then the Harry Potter hardback books, softback books, and just Harry Potter stuff in general. So I'm just going to scan this and let me back up to get both of these. Like I say, pause anytime, take a look, ask a question. Yeah, that's cool. And here's the Fantastic Beast Pops. I'm going to move those. I'll, I'll uh, tell you about that in the next room. There's Yoshi over here. I got from uh, Henry the Nerd. Shout out to Henry. Die Hard. And Full Metal Alchemist. And I got one more to put in there. That's the King Bradley one I got not too long ago. And so I'm going to find a, have to find a place for Yoshi. Slide these two down put that right there now this is just stuff kind of in the way and I need to because I lost two shelves down here because it's just <laughs> cause all the stuff I've piled right there okay now this is uh was originally my favorite items from from loot crate from firefly crate which I is since canceled so all this is kind of in this right this was the last pop in a box pop I got way back in uh Way back in February, and that's a whole story there. Uh, okay, this is a rescue dog I got out in <laughs> St. Louis. And then here's my latest uh, Marvel Collector Corp uh, deal. And there's the coolest thing I got from Geek Fuel. It's a, it's a idle, golden idol candle. And the bag comes with it, came with it. So that's <laughs> That's cool. Then just general stuff. Oh, here's the, the first year. 2015 was the first year I did uh, um, Loot Crate. And that they had those buttons. They stopped doing them since. Uh, those kind of, but they had those lapel pins or hat pins after that. So, is that everything? I think that, oh, I forgot this over here. There was a Doctor Who box from Loot Crate. And there's the, here, here it is inside out, the inside out box. And then here's a few books I got in, uh, subscription boxes so we got that going on all right let us move into the next room here all right now this over here was the original pop wall i just ran out of room and kind of cleared this area off but i can get back far enough i don't think i can and i had uh star wars pops pretty much covering about this much shelf space and i'll show you that in just a little bit okay so up here we have what do we have we have Deadpool and then uh, Iron Man. And we have 
Did I show that? I'm looking at other things, not the camera. Then we have uh, How to Train Your Dragon. We got Def Leppard over here. And then uh, Fantastic Four and a couple of single pops. Some Stan Lee over here. Some miscellaneous pops here. There's some. Whoops, did I, did I do that? There we go. I'm looking at the wrong thing again. Not looking at my monitor. Um, what did I get? Oh, The Incredibles 2, uh, Ghost in the Shell, uh, some more miscellaneous pops, and what is that? Oh, Mortal Engines and Fifth Element. Okay, there's some Star Trek pops over here from the, from the, the last movie or the one before, I'm not sure. Uh, and the Wally -E Earth Day pops. Okay, there's a cool Earthshaker from Dota 2. There's a Princess Bride. Then we have some we have some room to expand here, so, <laughs> so I'm not gonna run out of room right away. Uh, let's see Ant Man, uh, Trading Spaces, no, Trading Places. Excuse me, I'm thinking the wrong way. And then here's where I moved the South Park pops. So I'm running out of room where I had them before, and I'm gonna bleed onto another shelf. Then we have uh, just Marvel pops. Let me change my angle here. There we go. Avengers. And there's Daredevil there. There's a couple of Daredevil two pack there. And Avengers in general. And then here's all our, my DC pops here. I think it's all DC on the shelf right here. Yeah. Okay, so this got full and I ran out of room and. Well, shoot. Now what do I do? So I've got. The pop wall jr oh first of all yay i want to play that game again okay here's where i've moved the harry potter pops now this is all of them except the ones you saw in the other room and but i do have more so they're gonna so i'm gonna take these okay this is what is this ready player one and mad max okay, those can go on the big wall and i think that first row right there is going to be, this row is going to be bumped up to there and the Fantastic Beast Pops will be put up there. So, And then I have one more shelf down here. I'm going to have to remove that one. And put this one in its place. It's all sanded. I just need to stain it. I've got some brackets back here for it. So it's a 6 inch wall. It'll stick out about yay far so I can put the bigger pops on there. So, And I might set them on the desk. Like raise this shelf up. Put the bigger one on there. And raise it up to here because I got that um, Ron on the chest piece pop that's pretty tall so I gotta work out the logistics on that okay okay well I th actually I think this shelf over here was next after the big wall so I put everything up here where we got uh, Captain Marvel okay here's a uh, Thor Ragnarok pops and here's some random um, Marvel pops we have a couple shelves worth of X-Men. That one. And that one, there's a Gambit pop. So I got so I got one extra space. I can move those over. And uh, I got room for that. And then down at the bottom, we got some uh, Men in Black. And my Pop Rocks. Don't know if that's all of them. Oh, I can put that uh, uh, MTV pop down here. That would, that would be appropriate. So there you go. All right, so... This wall got full. That wall got full. Well, now what? So I turned to the wall behind the door shelves. I need to come up with a better name than that. If I can back up a little bit more. Okay, you can't really see the whole thing. Okay, so there are some oversized pops up there. And here's the regular size pops. And then the oversized pops down below. And I, I don't think I've got these in chronological order. Okay, got, this is the first uh, Luke and a speeder, and then that's where they did the rescue mission and the garbage compactor, and then that's later on. But, but, but it's before the encounter on uh, End, Endor, right? Dagobah. It's all so confusing to me. <laughs> but it's all the Star Wars are just all one, and I can't distinguish what moment was in which movie and put them in the proper order but uh, so let me 
take two shells at a time. Let me get, let me get up a little closer. I got the these are all in numerical numerical order. Let me see, you can pause anytime. Take a look. There, I got. I do have some in my waiting list. On my waiting list, uh, you saw at the beginning of the video, and I left room for them. But I think this is going to be it. Once this shelf is full, and I, if I get any new Star Wars pops, they'll, they'll probably probably be Mandalorian pops if I get any more. And then once this is full, I'll just start selling. Pops are lower on my I want to keep it list, you know. So there's the, there's the Knights of Ren over there. And then the big pops down here. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, this is how much room I've got. And once that's full, like I say, that, that's it. There's some pops that I can kind of do without. I've got three Kylo Ren pops. I've got an unmasked one. I've got a masked one around here somewhere masked whatever and then the the new one with the the broken with, with the damn there it is right there on top with the uh, the damaged helmet but there's one more around here it's just the helmet and that might be the one to go and then these uh resistance bb units i can probably lose those this r5 unit i don't know where that's from so that might go it came in the same uh, Smuggler's Bounty Box is this one, and this is from the Phantom Menace, so I suspect that's in there somewhere. I have no idea, but I think that one might go. I've already got the R2-D2 up here, and this, this one right here with the serving tray, so I, I'm not sure which one I would sell, but that's that would be on the list of things to go. And we have pops that look alike. There's FN. 2199 and then you see the helmet and face is all looks a lot like this one so i think this one up here might be one to go so uh, you know that that's kind of a, which one can i lose oh here's something i was worried about the door handle bumping into the pop so i put a little door stopper right here so so it doesn't uh, <laughs> so it doesn't d damage anything so that's what's going on with that, and I think that is everything. Oh, here's all my uh, t-shirts. Uh, summer t-shirts here, and the winter t-shirts, all the black ones over here. So there you go. All right. I believe that is everything. I think. I did the main wall, and then the... Oh, and some uh, gaming stuff, a little Dark Samus. Amiibo, yeah. Zelda, uh, a link. What is that? Um, uh, from the Switch game, I can't think. And then the Dr. Mario Amiibo I got from Henry the Nerd. Another shout to Henry. And I believe that is everything. All right. This is the gaming shelf over here. So that is it. All right, so that's everything. If I can get the glare off of this thing, <laughs> there you go. That's on my Nerd Shelf tour video for what is this? This is July, the beginning of July. It's the Fourth of July weekend, uh, 2020, and so we're uh, good for another year. All right, so hope you had fun. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Comment. What was your favorite uh, favorite section? Do you have any suggestions on where how I should move things or? Or this one thing would look be better over at this other place or whatever. So, but uh, not saying I'll do it. But, uh, somebody might come up with a good idea. You never know. All right. So uh, there you go. That's it for my nerd shelf tour video. Do a quick pan around, and uh, see you next time.